hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new here you are hello welcome thank you so much for joining for my internet subscriber thank you so much for always coming back Ghana men are one of the kindest men you ever come across in Africa. They are really nice and very generous. I come across a video of a lady who said is going to pick a Ghanaian man over a Nigerian man, according to her. And also some lady who also shared their experience, what it feels to get married to a Ghanaian man. Let's take a look at the video. We'll come back to talk about it. Describe Ghanaian men. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give them? 10. On a scale of 1 to 10? 10. They are 10. They are good. Ghana men or Nigerian men? Ghanaian men. Why? I love Ghanaians. So far, I'm dating a Ghanaian. So far, so good. Ghana men or Nigerian men? Oh, Ghana men. I've been, I've, I've tried the Niger, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Nigerian men didn't rep us well? No, at all. Oh, my God. No, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But, you know, there's good and bad in everything. I'm not, I'm not saying it's for, <laughs> but for me, mm, no. mm. Ghana men, Ghana all the way, repping. <laughs> Why are Ghanaian men so good to women? And I'm not just talking about just the Ghanaian men here. I'm talking about the ones coming from abroad, the madam, like, uh, what, what's going on this December? It's the etiquette for me. It's that I don't have to reach into my purse anytime for me. It's that I don't have to call for a bolt or Uber for me. And it's the politeness for me, like... I'm gonna need all you other guys to take notes from these Ghanaian men because oh, Chale <laughs> Chale <laughs> I married a Ghanaian man and of course Ghanaian Jollof is better than Nigerian Jollof I married a Ghanaian man and that's why we have a lot of different fufu powder at home I married a Ghanaian man and that's why we have this at home We make fufu with it. I don't know how it is called I married a Ghanaian man and that's why I have a lot of beautiful clothes at home. I married a Ghanaian man and we cure everything with abonike. I married a Ghanaian man and that's why we have always at home Maggi. I'm married to a Ghanaian man and that's why I hear Charlie almost 10 times a day. Charlie! <laughs> I married a Ghanaian man and of course we drink our herbs. It's helps for everything. I married a Ghanaian man and of course we eat eggs for every meal. Not every meal. Almost every meal. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course he's always asking me to add shito to his food. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course he calls avocado pear. It's not a pear, it's avocado. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, I'm not allowed to use my left hand to greet or pass anything to anyone. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, he somehow knows every Ghanaian we run into. <laughs> That's not true. Yes, it is. That's not yes, true. Yes, That's not true. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, my Ghanaian name is Adra because I was born on a Monday. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, he treats me so well. There you go, honey. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, we're having boiled egg on the side of every meal. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, his Ghanaian friend linked us up. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, I had to learn some tree because that's all we're speaking at every gathering. Bibiabako. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, we're having fufu every weekend. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, he has two degrees. My husband is Ghanaian. Of course, he claims that he went to the best high school in Ghana. Ah, but babes, this is not for discussion. Sibitas is the best high school. Shall we? <laughs> okay. So, I'll take it here. Yeah. My dear used to send me away. I'm going to send you. And then? I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I went on the one. And that's my own. This time, we're going to You have an idea. Yeah. Hey, he's so happy. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. 
Wow, that's a great experience those ladies are having in their union getting married to a Ghanaian. You can see the way the mother hilo are helping the white lady to teach her our African culture how to carry a baby. That's so beautiful. Ghana me are really, really kind. If you meet the one that loves you, oh my God, you'll be the luckiest woman on earth. Ghanaian ladies are really lucky to have Ghanaian men because their men are really nice. They take off their lady. They don't want to stress you. Oh my God. If you meet the one that loves you, you're going to be the best woman on earth. She's going to treat you like a queen that you are. Honestly, I don't know why some people say that Ghanaian men are stingy. They don't like to give money to their ladies. That man does not love you. It's a normal thing. When a man does not love you, he don't want to spend on you. Let's take a look at the video of a lady who actually explain the reason why he think that Ghanaian men don't like to give ladies money. People keep saying Ghanaian men are stingy. Ghanaian men are stingy. Ghanaian men don't spend. They prefer Nigerians because Nigerians spend or they prefer any foreigner that spend on them. It's true. We women, we are we, 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 we are the ones that nurtures. We are nurturers and the men are the ones that are supposed to support us in everything we do. But the thing is, when it comes to Ghanaian men, it's different. They prefer using their money to do other things, you know, that will germinate something tomorrow than to give their money to you to buy a wig or hair or any other thing. Even though it's not all Ghanaian men that do that, but majority of them would never take their money for you to go and buy a bone straight or something because they are thinking, if I get this 3,000 or 5,000 CDs, I can take this 5,000 CDs and invest this 5,000 CDs and get something in return. They are not going to think about you wearing the wig and at, at the end of the day, you come back and say you want a new one. That's why they do not give money to girls. For me, I do not think so. No, 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 no. Because Ghanaian men are really, really kind. No way Ghanaian men give ladies money. Especially you have not mixed the one that love you, my sister, my... Mm -mm. I will not accept that. Ghanaian men are really kind. If they come to a Ghanaian man, Ghanaian men take their time to know you more, to understand that, okay, you people are actually going somewhere. He trusts you. He loves you enough. If Ghanaian man can do anything for you. Sometimes you ask yourself, why is this man so kind to me? Why is he showering me with this love and all those things? When a Ghanaian man loves you, oh my God, you'll be the best woman on earth. You'll be working with pride that you have a man in your life. If a Ghana man loves you, he will do anything for you. You don't want you to walk. You don't want you to stress yourself. He will treat you <laughs> like see if you are the best person on earth. Ghana men are really, really nice. Nigerian men are also nice. You just have to work with what works for you. And you can meet a Ghana man that is not nice to you. You can also meet a Nigerian man that is not nice to you. It's just what works for you and what your destiny holds. You know, when it comes to choosing a partner, no one is better. Ghana man is no more perfect than Nigeria. Nigeria is no more perfect than Ghana man. It's just your luck and what your destiny will for you. Yeah, but for me, I will pick a Ghana man over a Nigerian man. Not because Nigerian men are not good. They are good. It's just that for me, I like a simple and calm man. Yes, but Nigerian men, they are simple, but they like too much design. Like Nigerian men want to show off to everyone that has money, they want to prove a point to the world, they always want to buy designer, they spend money too much for necessary things. For me, you don't have to. But Ghanaian men do not do that. You cannot even tell when a Ghana man is rich or when he's not rich. You cannot tell. They take their time, they invest their money wisely. Yes, for a Ghana man to buy you just a bone straight for no reason, he will not. He wants that money to be invested for something that will benefit their family in the future. So Ghana may think of the future faster. Nigeria may think of the future, but Nigeria may also want to make sure they are always looking good and only looking on point. But Ghana may do not have time to be thinking of those things. They always want to think of that money should be used for something better than just to waste it on unnecessary things. That is why people feel that Ghana may do not give money. No. If if a Ghanaian man loves you, you're going to be the most lucky woman on earth. He give, they give money, but just that maybe you have not met the one that 
actually like you a lot to spend on you. It's just the same way as Nigerian men. If you miss the one that do not love you enough, it's going to be difficult for you to spend on you. We all know as a lady, when a man loves you, it's not hard to know. You can see from the action, the way he talk to you, the way he treat you, the way he respect you, the way he support your dreams. You will see. It's not only by giving money that make a man love you. It's not by when the man give you money. It does not mean that giving you money means love you. What does this man contribute to your life? How does this man support you? How did he advise you? These things count when it comes to choosing a life partner. Because when you want to choose a life partner, don't forget that you're not only getting married to your husband, you're also getting married to the father of your children. The same thing goes to a man. When you are getting married, you are getting married to the mother of your children. So these things, you have to put it in place when you are choosing a life partner. So they're both country men are wonderful. Just have to work with what work with you and everybody will be happy. That is what I think. So please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do me well by subscribing, okay? And also don't forget to drop your comment below, like this video, and I will see you in my next video. Stay blessed and bye for now.